Hi guys, are you here with Nartut for Blender? Today we're gonna. Hi guys, are you here with Nartut for Blender? And today we're gonna design a sci fi button decal. So let's grab our box cutter and turn on the snapping tool. And let's draw a circle in here in the middle. So something like that. I'm at 100 verts because it needs to be smooth. And let's. Um, let's actually symmetrize this and apply everything. So operations and smart apply. Uh, now what we're gonna do is grab this circle. Oops. Come on. And solidify it downwards. And let's apply this. Okay. Now we're gonna drop a loop in here. Select this one and in fact we don't need those dual faces here. So select this one and let's scale this in until it breaks. And uh, come on, not the curve. And let's actually mark this sharp. There we go. And these two should be bullion uh, bevels, but we're gonna do it later. So now let's cut another circle in here like that. And this is too deep, so we're gonna go up a little bit, right? And let's actually duplicate it and make it smaller. Shift Z, so it scales on every single axis except Z. And select this one, look, this cutter, and difference. Did it work? Of course it didn't. Where is it? Let's make it bigger. Select this one and difference. There we go. Let's grab this one. This the one and let's apply this modifier. So operations and smart apply. Right now, uh, we don't need this outer circle anymore. So we're gonna hide it and we're going to grab a cube, make it smaller and bring it somewhere here. Okay, and uh, somewhere here. Make sure you're symmetrical, that's important, uh, because reasons, and, uh, and we're gonna slice it here like this. So slice it like this and simply um, mirror to the other side and apply both. So operations and smart apply. Now let's go to hard ops and uh, array this, right click this dot and increase the number of these squares and then what we need to do is bring this main cut cutter up which is I believe this one where is it this one right nope this one so select the uh, these cubes this one and booleans difference how are we looking grab the circle and let's see Nice. Okay, so before we do anything, right, what we need to do is um, grab this. The only way to do this would be to actually apply this, I think. So smart apply, and unfortunately, we're going to have to do it by hand. What on earth is going on here? Why do we have double verts? There we go. So let's let's do it quickly. The trick to good decals is a lot of bevels, you see. It's like with women. You need lots of curves. And then it looks good. So, let's remove all these verts. Uh, come on here. Yeah, we're good. Alright. So now let's just select, you know, these verticals I cannot do a uh, um, selection by direction because unfortunately all of them oh my god this navigation in blender is so fucking stupid I don't understand why it's slowing down sometimes I have the uh, uh, Auto, is it not auto perspective? The other one, what's it called? Um, 
forgot the name of this thing. I think it's on the navigation. Auto depth is the one. It's turned on. It should be working properly, but it's not, so I don't know what the hell. Um, so like this, we should be good. Okay, now, wait, 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 wait. These two. Okay, and this, these two. I think we're good. Just let's check really quickly. And now what I need to do is actually mark them sharp. Uh, because that's going to help with shading. And let's let's grab this bevel and it should be peachy. Now, before I'm going to apply this, uh, uh, let's grab both of them. Before I'm going to apply this uh, boolean, I need to make sure that there is an edge running through the middle of these. So when I apply it, perfect. I'm not going to get any stupid edges around. And now actually I can bevel this. So, you know, maybe it's going to be easier to do it like this. So shift D, what is going on in here? Double vert. And we got this line here that needs to be removed. Meaning, what the hell? There we go. There's another one in here. Correct, correct. So, merge it, merge it, remove it. Perfect. Now, um, let's grab one of these and shift G parameter. Should work. It did. And control one and then let's grab the uh, not this one uh control one and grab the loop tools i mean the uh um, the edge loops and bevel them a little bit just a little bit perfect and that's what we wanted and now we can bevel this edge but there is some end gun still here there we go you can't have angons or like weird edges. Um, you need to make sure everything is perfect before you bake it or you're gonna have a bad day. Let's make it small and uh, now we're gonna make another cut. So let's let's grab our box cutter and grab a, another circle and let's cut it. And let's cut it again like this. And then we're going to use an end gun and slice something like this. All right. That's cool. And let's rotate it around cursor to maybe somewhere here this should do uh, let me see this and now let's see you know what i have an idea if we're going to run it this way so we can actually um change the way um it scales so let's select all these and then let's scale them on individual origins and see what's going to happen. Same bloody thing. Okay, fine. So let's select this edge again. Okay. And let's scale this away from the cursor. And this should scale evenly now. There we go much better it's still a little bit uh i think the reason for this one is maybe it's a shadow maybe i'm just seeing things but anyway so let's uh let's select uh, this row here without this preferably and control plus and let's select the edge loops and you know what before we actually do that let's actually uh, bevel these two and these two 
and also they need to be marked sharp otherwise it's gonna be a problem so yeah same here let's mark this sharp just in case okay fine now uh, let's mark this one and this one control plus and select the edges oh come on there we go and let's bevel this what's going on in here oh it's fine let's actually try to chamfer this let's see if it's gonna work yeah, it's working so now go to edge and select edge loops again and then we're gonna bevel this perfect and now we're gonna select this one so we're gonna bevel this one too and select the edge loops and let's just see if everything is peachy there's some kind of a weird shading issue in here am i seeing things let me turn the shadows off and see what's going on here yeah this is a little bit weird i'm not i'm not not crazy about the shading here i think the shading is caused by the weird angle of the wall yep so what we're going to do is we're going to do this we're going to try to fix this manually i don't know if it's gonna work it actually may, might break the whole decal but we're gonna try so g shift z and let's just move this no this isn't gonna work i'm just gonna move these so g shift z and move it until this face relaxes a little bit okay did it help a little bit cool this should work so now let's uh actually let's do the same thing here probably have the same problem and this one is not too bad really but uh, we could move it a little bit so g shift z and just you know g shift z and move it a little bit G shift Z Yeah, it's kinda of fine. I'm not crazy about this. Let's actually try to fix this. So let's select this and this and let's try to unfuse it. And let's try to unchain for it yeah and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to orthographic view and we're gonna go and run a mirror tool here so three and let's see if this is gonna fix problem could fix it I think it's better so now let's rerun this so let's select this one and by the way we need to remove this uh, these sharp edges on the bottom because that's gonna cause a problem so let's remove uh, unmark everything select the loops mark them and then bevel them and now everything should be peachy so see that bevels nice Bevels is, uh, I mean, decals is a fantastic training for, um, it's a fantastic training for, you know, like learning how to uh, deal with uh, different kinds of issues because you have a lot of issues. So now we can actually um, create one more circle in the middle. So uh, let's grab a circle and let's actually project a knife cut so okay and let's actually slice it through there we go and let's let's scale it in like this and drop it down nice and we will need to sharpen this one cool in fact you know what we could actually sharpen this one as well something like this yeah and then create like a tiny bevel in here so all right nice how are we looking we're looking pretty hot so let's create a, a parameter in here so easy go down and f 
and in fact what I want to do is create a little chamfer in here too so let's chamfer this out and um, come on there we go um, create a sharp edge so mark sharp and bevel it how are we looking looking pretty good quite close to the edge but I think we should be fine so now let's actually lift this should we lift this no i think we're fine so let's try to bake this right so let's save it and let's try baking it i'm gonna bake it in the highest settings um so we can see the shading very well um so i'll probably see you in a few minutes because baking on 10 24 in machine takes a long time it's for the patient ones Okay guys, moment of truth. Did we bake a nice cake or not? That's the question. To bake or not to bake. Come on. Let's go. Nice. That's clean. How are we looking on these areas here? See that pulling is okay this is due to um, simply resolution problems but we can fix it with parallax a bit so what i'm checking is um, the shading especially on flat surfaces this is also normal this the, these surfaces you see they need to be clean and and really smooth with you know no breakage no nothing that's brilliant okay so we're gonna fix this uh, the pulling problem. Now this should be okay. That's not too bad. There's a bit of pulling in here as well. So let's uh, let's see that. These holes might be a bit too big. Um, you see. Let's pull this up a bit. Oh, this should do. Yeah, that's pretty cool looking good looking good okay so that's our decal guys it looks really clean and nice and of course you can change the material on it because it's a subset decal which means it's going to inherit material um, from the main sphere or main um, you know the main object it's it's on uh, so basically this one right so if I reapply it it's gonna fix itself boom but the middle you can you know assign different color or you can assign the same the same one so it's up to you really what you're gonna do with it but uh, that's it guys uh, for this video hope you enjoyed it give us a like and sub if you did and there are links to decal machine and mesh machine add-ons as well as hard ups and box cutter in the video description so if you want to buy these add-ons uh, go ahead and do them through the links you're going to help me as well and if you want to learn more about add-on workflow i have tons of videos on this channel so you can go ahead and check them out i got a uh, playlist for dick uh, for machine add-ons and for hard ups separately so tons to learn uh, great fun thanks for watching catch you in the next video guys